Hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and for today's sewing tutorial I'm going to make a patchwork dress from some old jeans. Patchwork is a great way to recycle old jeans. This is my first ever attempt on patchwork and I'm so happy with my dress. So I started this project by uh, cutting up my jeans. I have a bunch of old jeans. I ask everyone I know to donate their old clothes to me so I ended up with a bunch of them. What is great, thanks for everyone who has donated. I kinda like the sound of cutting jeans, so I really enjoyed cutting these up. Some of these might still be wearable as pants, but I'm not going to wear them anyway. And I don't know how I feel about donating, because there's so much textile waste nowadays that most clothes you donate don't end up in thrift store, but in landfills. Anyway, that's what I heard. So let me know how you feel about like donating old clothes. I would like to start a conversation about this in the comment section. I cut around 30 patches from each pair of jeans. Once that was done, I sorted them into a pattern and a size that I liked. I planned on making this skirt into my knee, but it came out a little shorter. But yeah, nothing wrong with showing some knee. I want to make half a circle skirt, so I made a patch from 90 cm on 180 cm or 35 inches on 71 inches. And when I was done sorting, the dog decided to give me some extra work. I was a little annoyed, but yeah, he's cute, so I forgive him. Then I resorted the damage and I started to sew this into a patch. I turned the patches around and sewed them into straps. This will take a while, so I suggest that you put on a nice podcast or some music if you want to try this. I'm currently listening to the True Crime Serial Killer podcast. I love this kind of podcast. It's a little bit creepy, but perfect for fall and winter. And then the dog did it again. At this point, I just gave resorting the patches up and I'm just sew them into straps. Once I turned these all into straps, I started sewing the straps together into a patchwork blanket. I also introduced this patchwork blanket to my ironer. If you enjoyed this patchwork tutorial so far, you can support me and my channel by giving this video a like and leaving a comment down below. This shows YouTube that you enjoy my videos and hopefully this way they will show it to more people. Tell me what you think about this project, what you think about clothing recycling, your current sewing project, your sewing plans, podcast series or music you like to listen to while you're sewing, anything. As a final step, I zigzag stitched around the raw edges to protect them. This is the most annoying part of the project and it's not that cute so I'm not going to forgive it. But you know, it's very important if you want to be able to wash the dress or whatever you want to make with the patchwork. Once I was done, I cut this patch into half a circle skirt. I love the way circle skirt falls, so it's worth doing a little extra work. So I folded the patch double and then I measured my waist and divided this by 3.14. Or pie, but not a good lovely tasting pie, no, the matte pie. Then I drew this measurement on top of the fold and this made my little circle. I'm also going to make a big circle, for that I added my desired skirt length to my little circle and I drew a big circle. And then I cut this out. If this all went a little too fast for you, I will link a tutorial down below on how to make half a circle skirt. Then I zigzag stitch around the edges of the skirt so they won't unravel. Then I hemmed the bottom of the skirt and ta da 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 da, my half circle skirt was finished. Now I have my skirt, I'm going to make a second patch of jeans for the top part of the dress. I want to make this patch 45 cm on 130 cm. I saved a few patches from the leftovers of my skirt 
and then I used those and I cut some new ones to create the patch. Then I sew them together in the same way as I did for the skirt. I first make them into straps and I made the strap into a patch blanket. Don't forget to zigzag the raw edges as well, this is really important. I didn't mention this before, but it's important that the patches match up with each other, so try to do this as good as possible for the most beautiful result. So now I have my patch and I want to make it into a shirt for the dress. For this I selected the t-shirt with a good fit and I tucked in the sleeves. I put in some pins so they would stay. Put. Then I matched the skirt up with the patch and I drew the shape of the t-shirt on it. I wanted my neckline to be kind of a boat neckline, so I measured 8 cm on each shoulder part and I connected the dots with a curve. Then I cut this out. You can hold this in front of you to see how the neckline will fall and then you can cut it out further if you like. Then I folded this double to make the back part. I want my back part to have the same neckline as the front part, but if you don't want this, you will have to copy it from the t-shirt. I also marked this so I would be sure that I copied the left and the right side for my back pieces. I added a second layer on the top part to make it more comfortable to wear. This also hems the edges neatly. I used the inside of the curtain that I used for my velvet full circle skirt a couple of videos ago. I copied the three parts on my lining fabric and now I'm going to sew them together but I marked an opening so I could turn it around later. So then I sewn them together and also zigzagged around the edges to prevent them from unraveling again. Next I turned it around and I put myself in repeat mode to do this for the other pieces. After this I set all these pieces together to form the top part. And then I sewed the top part to the skirt to form a dress. All that I have left to do is to install the zipper and close the skirt. As it was already dark and I don't have professional lighting, I didn't film this part that well, so I will link a video down below where I install a zipper with a lot of explanation in a similar dress. And my dress is finished! So here I am preparing uh, to take pictures of this dress in the park with a friend. I'm not that good at doing my makeup, but it turned out alright for this one. I used some foundation, powder, blush, then I wanted my eyes to have something extra, so I added some blue eyeshadow from this Sephora box that I have since like forever. 
Any tips on how to do makeup are more than welcome in the comments. And here I prove that it's impossible to put on mascara without making a weird face. So I also decided to take you, the amazing viewer of this channel, to my photo shoot. It's in a park in the city where I live and I thought these street lights would give it a nice background for my pictures. It was a short shoot because it was a little cold. If you ever do a photo shoot in the cold, my best tip is to keep a sweater on like until the moment you're going to take pictures. And I'm also wearing skin colored panties, that also helps a lot. I love the pictures of this shoot and I want to thank my friend Sam for taking them. Thank you! Okay, that was it! Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this patchwork tutorial, you can support me and my channel by giving this video a like and leaving a comment down below. This shows YouTube that you enjoy my videos and hopefully this way they will show it to more people. You can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok if you like that. Thank you! Bye!